dear learners welcome to the course antennas and microwave engineering in this video i will be explaining some of the solved examples of directional coupler in the previous video also i have explained few examples related to directional coupler we know the basic of directional coupler and also parameters used to analyze the directional coupler in a separate video i have explained basic principle and parameters related to directional coupler in detail first example is i consider two identical directional couplers are used in wave guide to sample the incident and reflected powers the output of the two couplers is found to be 2.5 milliwatts and 0.15 milliwatts find the value of vswr in the wave guide two directional couplers are used in wave guide here incident and reflected powers are given 2.5 milliwatts and 0.15 milliwatts first we find the reflection coefficient rho is equal to root of pr by pa pr and pa both are given in the problem we substitute the value of pr and pa we will get the reflection coefficient is 0.244 what is the question we have to find the vswr already we know the relation between the reflection coefficient and the vswr now we are going to write the vswr in terms of the reflection coefficient vswr is equal to 1 plus rho by 1 minus rho is equal to 1 plus 0.244 by 1 minus 0.244 that is equal to 1.64 now the answer is 1.64 In the second example, I consider two identical 30 dB directional coupler are used to sample incident and reflected power in a wave guide. VSWR is equal to two, and the output of the coupler sampling incident power is 4.5 milliwatts. What is the value of reflected power? Here we are going to find the reflected power. We know the VSWR. so from the vswr we find the value of reflected power first we write vswr is equal to 2 is given in the problem so vswr in terms of the reflection coefficient is 1 plus rho by 1 minus rho then we simplify this We will get the rho is equal to point three three. Reflection coefficient is point three three. Coupling factor is given ten log of P I by P F is equal to thirty. That means the power uh, incident power to the power traveling in forward direction. P F is the power traveling in forward direction. So now. Pi by Pf is equal to 10 power 3. So therefore, Pf is equal to Pi by 1000. From this, we calculate what is Pi. Pi is 4.5 watts. Then, rho is square root of Pr by Pi. So in this case, we substitute the value of Pi here. we will get what is pr pr is equal to 0.5 watts so if vswr is given from this we can find the reflected power the third example the return loss of directional coupler connected in a system is 18.2 db calculate vswr so here return loss is given from this we have to find the vswr then how we find this what is the relation between this return loss and vswr 
return loss is related with the reflection coefficient and bswr can be returned in terms of the reflection coefficients in this way we find the value of bswr first we write r is equal to 18.2 db then we write the general expression for the return loss 20 log of 1 by rho to the base 10 here rho is the reflection coefficient so we substitute the value of uh, r r is 18.2 db so from this we find reflection coefficient is 0 0.123 now we know the value of reflection coefficient. So from this we can calculate what is BSWR. BSWR is equal to 1 plus rho by 1 minus rho. Now we substitute the value of rho as 0.123. We get BSWR is 1.28. The fourth example, a symmetrical directional coupler has an infinite directivity of 20 dB. The coupler is used to monitor the power delivered to a load as shown in figure. Bolometer 1 introduces the VSWR of 2.0 on arm 1. Bolometer 2 is matched to arm 2. If Bolometer 1 reads 9 milliwatts and bolometer 2 reads 3 milliwatts. Question is we find the amount of power dissipated in load and also we determine the BSWR on arm 3. This is the figure given in the problem. Bolometer 1, bolometer 2, VSWR at bolometer 1 is 2.0. First, we mark the port 1, 2, 3 and 4. Bolometer 1 and 2 connected the ports 1 and 2 correspondingly. The port 3 is at a less connected. Power dissipated is at a less. The reflection coefficient at port 1 is reflection coefficient P minus 1 by P plus 1. That is 2 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 that is equal to 1 by 3. So here we mark the power flow in a directional coupler. The incident power and the reflected power are related through the reflection coefficient. Already we know that. So reflection coefficient. is 1 by 3. So from this the incident power to port 1 is 10.125 milliwatts and the reflected power from port 1 is 1.125 milliwatts. So now port 2 is matched and the bolometer at port 2 reads 3 milliwatts then 1.875 milliwatts must be radiated through poles. Since 20 dB is equivalent to a power ratio of 100, 100 is to 1. The power input at port 4 is given by P4 is equal to 100 P1 plus. 1012.5 milliwatts. Now the power reflected from the load is 187.5 milliwatts. It is multiplied by 100 into this value 1.875 milliwatts. We get 187.5 milliwatts. The power dissipated in the load is PL is equal to P3 plus minus P3 minus. So, therefore, we get zero eight twenty five milliwatts. The power dissipated in the load is eight twenty five milliwatts.
the reflection coefficient is calculated. We substitute the reflected and the incident part that is P minus by P plus 0.43. So from this we find reflection coefficient is known. VSWR we can find as VSWR is 2.5. So this solve the exam is uh, requires the basic knowledge of direction coupler and also the simple expressions for coupling factor, uh, return loss and the relation between reflection coefficient and uh, BSWR. So if once if we well known about the basics of uh, directional coupler, we can easily solve the problem. I hope you could understand the discussion of this topic. Thank you.